So I put a camera out here a week ago out in the swamp. And uh, gun season starts on Friday. So uh, this is just a real pretty cypress swamp, just full of cypress knees, big knees, big cypress trees. Uh, second growth, not the giant cypress trees that were here back in the early 1900s before logging. These are probably 30 or 40 year old trees. Since the last logging operation. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I'm about to... Uh, Hopefully it's there. It hasn't been removed. It should be all right. Just picture a big buck walking through here. When gun season starts to kind of get away from the crowds. Deeper swamp that way, so they're going to come from the area to the west and go into the swamp to the east. As the season progresses. I just love this swamp. Very special, very unique, very hard to hunt. It's hard to pattern deer in here because it's so flat. And pop up the so it's really an accomplishment if you can see a deer, much less kill a deer. Oh, I must only got one lung and one shoulder. Because it's so close. I so, probably should have aimed higher. So Mike, you, you rode a bike? <laughs> we walked in a mile and a half. We checked some cameras. We checked some deer on the cameras. It's 1.9 miles by GPS. <laughs> mile and a half. <laughs> we're we're going we're gonna to put the, uh, the quarter and the pack out. To a test. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. Got something better than blood. Come on, bro. He's down for the camp. That's a spike, huh? That's the spike. That's him. That's, That's a him. big spike, man. You did it, Mike? <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. I'm proud of you, man. So this is uh this is my first swamp deer. Ever. Ever. Wow. That's 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 big, Mike. This is this is my first one. What what did it take to get him? A lot of hiking, man. What, you got on a bicycle? Go ahead and Yeah, we, yeah. So we uh Danny found this spot where He's got to take his bike in. Well, how many miles do we ride on the Two bike? Two miles on the bike. Two miles on the bike. So two miles on the bike, and then we get to the spot where you put the bikes off. We chained the bikes up, and then we walked. What Danny said was like a mile and a quarter or something, mile and a half. Put on my GPS, it says two miles. And by now we're two plus. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, we hiked in and we went and checked his cameras and he had some, some daylight movement coming from this swamp area. And uh, I started trying to walk around and I couldn't really find a spot. So I was like, well, I can see really good here. And I ended up just setting up 20, 30 yards from the camera overlooking the swamp because you could see. And uh, sure enough, right, right at dark, this I hear this one walking up. He's probably on the camera. You probably got a picture of him on the camera. Oh my gosh! Right before I shot him. Wow. But it was real, real thick back where he was, and I wasn't gonna be able to shoot unless he walked in this one little opening. And I was like, all right, well if he walks right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to get a shot. And so I just got ready, and I kept hearing him walking, and then eventually I see him pop out. And, I put the scope on him and I just... What, what kind of tracking job do we have, Mike? Pretty dang good, man. One of the better ones. How, how big is that cypress knee right there? <laughs> right there next to you. That's a big just, one. Just put your hand on it. 
Good grief. Bigger so this, deer. this is a true swamp buck. This is it, man. And I hate, I have hated the swamp. Danny's been dragging me back here, <laughs> kayaking miles to get to these spots. And, and I've cursed it every time. And something felt right this afternoon when I was in that trail. I was like, man, I really feel like one of us is going to kill one today. Yeah. Like it yeah. just looks good. It feels right. I took off of work this afternoon and I caught a ton of crap. I had to answer the phone. <laughs> I had to answer the phone in the stand and talk to somebody at the office and just to explain to them that I had it handled. But you got to go when it when it's good, when it's right. Yeah. And there's limited gun days here in this particular refuge. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of gun days, so you got to go and it's it's either sex right now, so it's, it's, you know, and this, and this it, front just came through, and I knew that the wind was going to be blowing pretty good today, and I wanted to get out here in the afternoon when the wind was blowing, you know, a little bit more than normal. So I always see more deer when it's a little yeah. bit windy. So, so what's the plan from here, Mike? What, what are we, what are we going to do with this thing? We're going to skin him out, quarter him up, get the back straps and the loins and whatever little bits of meat we can fit in the bags. We're going to put them in a packs and we're going to hike two miles out. Sweet. Is that a, taking a page out of uh, uh, Warren Womack's uh, book? It is. It is. This is this is his style of hunting, isn't this it? This is it. This is also our elk style of hunting. This is our elk style. And, this, <laughs> this, and Womack is a Louisiana boy, so he knows what it's like to hunt public land and get far back. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and drag him and uh, get him up to the dry ground so we What you got to say for yourself, Michael? Oh, man, I'm whipped. That bike ride kicked my butt. This, these guys right here? I think this is the key. The fat tire? I think so, because you smoked me. Yeah. And you were carrying the, the deer. Yeah. The whole deer. And uh, I'm, what, 63 years old? Oh, All right, well, so, so just wrap up for us, Mike. Kind of put, put, a, put a period on the end of the story here. Man, if you get deep, if you get deep, you get lucky. Wow, that almost sounds uh, like it ought to be on a t-shirt. Get deep, you get lucky. Yeah. That's pretty cool, Mike. Bike two miles, height 1.96 to be exact. Killed a deer? Uh, yeah. Killed a legal, a legal public land buck. A legal public land buck. My first in the swamp. I, I've, I've killed them in the piney woods. But uh, the stump has, has stifled me. And you've hunted in here quite a bit. I have. Danny's been dragging me around trying to teach me the swamp, and we've both been trying to l learn it together. And uh, I think the addition of the cameras this year has motivated us. The cameras and, and just, you know, listening to the podcasts and reading guys like w Warren Womack and, you know, hearing them talk about just get as far away from where you think other people might be. Yeah. And that's what you did, and you found yeah. a... We got it. And we'll be back. We found a good honey hole. We'll come back. It's a pleasure, Mike. Thank you, Danny. Enjoy yeah, it. Thank you enough, man. As always, man. Can't wait until we do it again. Heck yeah. All right. Later. <laughs> what you think, Michael? It's freaking awesome, man. Well, we came out at... Uh, Four o'clock this morning, walked a couple miles in and got up against the swamp. We didn't see anything this morning. You jumped some deer this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, scouted a little bit, found a scrape line, or a rub line, I'm sorry, and uh, put my camera on it. And I just sat down close to that rub line and started hunting. And uh, I mean, right at that critical, perfect time, you know, 20 minutes after sunset, I turned around, looked off my right shoulder, and this old boy was just kind of picking, picking through the swamp. And uh, I managed to put a shot on him, and he didn't run too far, Mike. He didn't run too far at all. But uh, we've been hunting these things for a long time, haven't we, Mike? 
been chasing them, trying to figure them out. And uh, maybe, maybe we've unlocked the key. What do you think? We're getting close. Uh, <laughs> lucky, but uh, we're on our way. So now, now we got to uh, cut him up and uh, haul him out of here. We got to pack him out. How fun and, starts. Uh, we're gonna get after it. So thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Good shot right there. I got to help quarter up and pull this sucker out of here. <laughs> you, you, you pulled the lion share of him out too. I got, I got to see Danny. Danny's hard work pay off. <laughs> he, he's been busting it out here trying to pattern these deer in this swamp and he's finally unlocked we, the... We, we have.